I thought I'd do a quick video about gas mileage today since it seems like that's a pretty important topic anymore. Um, I go to school up at Iowa State and I see at a lot of the parking lots the tires are pretty low and uh, a low tire generally has pretty adverse effects on your gas mileage especially if all the tires are low and when I say low I mean below below 30 psi that's getting a little on the low side so um, and basically what happens is the lower that the more the less tire pressure you have the more rolling resistance you have and the harder your engine has to work to propel you forward now a good example of this or representation is now we've all rode a bicycle with tires that aren't all the way aired up and it's harder to pedal now but when you have your tires on your bike aired up, it's much easier to pedal. And I'm sure everyone's experienced this. Now apply that same principle to your car. When your air, is, when your air pressure is down and your tires on your car, it has the same effect. Your engine has to work harder to uh, propel you forward. And because of that, you, uh, you get worse gas mileage in turn for the extra effort your motor has to put out. So it's really important to stay on top of your gas mileage or stay on top of your tire pressure excuse me so um, what I like to do is I like to run somewhere between 32 to 36 psi all the time I usually air my tires up to 35 just because the uh, the normal wear and tear of uh, beating and banging over bumps will knock some of the pressure out of it so 35 gives you a little bit of grace but, um, and a lot of cars actually do have manufacturing specifications. We'll look here on this Jeep right here and they'll tell you tire pressure, but, um, you know, you can choose to follow that or you can choose not to. Um, what, the, what they're set at is, uh, they're set at a certain amount for optimum amount of ride quality, gas mileage and um, suspension life so they're trying to do a juggling act but if you want better gas mileage yes you'll lose some of your ride quality but um unfortunately my uh, recording device died there so anyway i think i covered rolling resistance and added drag with a uh, bigger tire with uh, less air in your tires and i think I went through the bicycle example but um and what I and I believe what I said is uh somewhere between 32 to 36 psi somewhere in there and um some people are uh are kind of against that because they think they'll wear their tires more in the uh more in the center and we'll get a look at these okay you can see the dirt pattern I got these way aired up on this thing more than the ratio that you would use in your car but um, anyway so you can see it's more in the center but what happens if your tire is low you'll actually lose your tread out on the outsides and honestly the tread on the outsides is a lot more important than the insides um, and anywhere between 32 to uh, 36 you won't see this in the middle it'll be ni a nice even spread so and that's what you're after but um, anyway, it might hurt your ride as well. It won't ride as well. And as long as you stay somewhere around 35, it's not going to shorten the lifespan of your suspension. Um, what's also interesting about tires and the air that's in the tires is that um, what happens when it gets colder is air gets more dense. And when it's warmer out, air gets less dense it expands so we'll say that you have 32 pounds of pressure on a day where it's 70 degrees now say the next day it's 50 degrees you might lose some tire pressure because the air inside contracts and it takes up less space so you actually lose pressure when it's colder so a good time to check your tire pressure is when it when the seasons change and the weather gets colder um, and when it gets warmer your tire pressure may increase but I've noticed that it doesn't increase as much as as 
in line with the same ratios when it's cold as when it decreases. So you really got to stay on top of that when it gets cold. And uh, I'd say maybe once a month take a look at them just because the normal beating and banging knocks some pressure out of them. But um, anyway, the atmosphere does play a factor in your overall tire pressure. So you want to uh, stay on top of that seasonally. Um, and pretty much I think that's about it that covers tire pressure. It's the simplest way to get better gas mileage to stay on top of your pressure. Going back to the bicycle example, everyone knows when they ride a bike with flatter tires it's harder to pedal and then when the tires are more aired up to where they're supposed to be you can pedal a lot easier and like I said before that works for your engine just like it works for your body. When your engine has to work harder you burn more fuel and you're less efficient so that's something you want to uh, just something overall that you want to stay on top of so anywho give it a try and stay on top of your tire pressure because it is important.